Our freshwaters provide a whole range of ecosystem services, so they're really important for human needs, they're really important for our biodiversity, and they're impacted by climate change and land use change. And so there's a real emphasis now on improving water quality for multiple benefits, and we need to make our freshwaters more resilient to climate change and land use change. The programme as a whole aims to bring together the freshwater quality community across the UK to deliver a range of benefits. These include delivering improved water quality in our rivers, but it also includes a more coherent community that allows researchers to work more closely with practitioners and policy makers to come up with the long-term solutions for water quality. We're hoping that the projects will help us to understand how our hydrological cycle is changing, so how chemicals and biological contaminants are making their way into freshwater systems, what effect those are having when they're mixed together, and then more broadly, I guess, the effect that those chemicals or pollutants are having on the ecosystems that the rivers support or the ecosystem services that they support. And then we'd like for the programme to start to think about adaptation and mitigation to some of these problems. I am part of the champion team and that is a team that oversees the programme and our role is really to support NERC to achieve the aims of the programme and to ensure that the individual projects interact and work together so the outputs of the programme are more than the individual components of the projects. I think one of the key novelties of our project is this focus on the microbial communities. This is a group of organisms that are largely understudied in freshwaters. So there's the potential to not only better understand how freshwater ecosystems function from a microbial perspective, but the ability to develop these new tools that are interrogating these communities at a molecular level in a way that's not been done before. We're working with a range of different projects that take different approaches to looking at freshwaters from ecologists, ecotoxicologists, modelers, chemists. So working with a broad range of disciplines, I think there's the advantage that we can exchange information between the different projects. I also think there's opportunities around the development of early career researchers. They can develop networks across the different projects and this will benefit future research in this area. What our project is going to do is to make predictions of how water quality will change across the UK under different scenarios of the future. Ultimately it's a tool to help the policy makers and the regulators think about what policies they might need to develop in response to certain situations. What we're doing that's different to what's happened before is that we're looking at combinations of pollutants instead of one at a time. We're also using smart sensors that can collect data every 15 minutes rather than the standard process which is to go out say once every two weeks or once every month. That means that we'll be able to connect the drivers of change in pollutant exposure to things like sudden flow events or droughts which we haven't been able to do before. The project will think not just about impacts at an individual species level to see whether there's a direct toxic effect of chemicals, but also to propagate that through food webs. So we're aiming to look at the overall function of the aquatic ecosystem and how that function might change and be impacted by chemicals both now and into the future. Being part of the programme brings us a wealth of, of different approaches to a single problem. We know what the issue is, but there's not going to be one solution to that in the end, we need to come at it from different angles. We're trying to better understand how livestock waste, particularly from cattle and sheep, can impact on freshwater biodiversity. So we're interested in terms of the chemicals which are derived from those activities, how they pass through the landscape into those waters, and then to what extent they are available, bioavailable to the biota within the rivers and what their toxicological properties are. Here you're bringing together a whole series of collective expertise from people who understand the chemistry, the way those molecules and chemicals move through the landscape, people are modelers basically thinking about some of the hydrology of the system, so how they get diluted and, and move through the water courses through to people who understand how organisms are affected, so the ecotoxicologists.